Lewis Smith retired in the Aja area of Lagos State. At the Punch newspaper can confirm that Smith is a cousin to former Inspector General of Police and current chairman of the Police Service Commission, Muslim Smith. Uh, the Punch newspaper learns that, that the retired general is currently the chairman of Double World Ventures Limited, a dredging and engineering firm, was supervising work on a site in the Aja area of Lagos State on Monday when marks the government invaded the place and shot sporadically. The gunmen were said to have whisked away the general in a waiting speedboat and sped away. We'll be following this new story. A work on the development of Instagram Kids, an app for children over 13, has been suspended. Instagram chief Adam Mosseri said in a statement that Facebook wants to listen to the voice of parents, experts, and policymakers and regulators on the issue. The Wall Street Journal had reported the research conducted by the service to show that the application is harmful to millions of young users. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation spent a total of 905.27 billion naira of petrol subsidy in eight months amid rising global oil prices. The latest data obtained from the corporation showed that with the international oil benchmark Brent crude oil nearing $80 per barrel on Monday. The landed cost of imported petrol and subsidy are expected to increase. And the subsidy, which uh, the NNBC refers to core value shortfall or on the recovery, resurfaced in January this year as the government left the home price of petrol unchanged as 162 naira and 165 per litre despite the increase in global oil prices. The Central Bank of Nigeria's e naira website has gone live ahead of the October 1st official launch. According to the website www.enara.com, Enara is a CB issued digital currency that provides a unique form of money denominated in Naira. The CBM stated that Enara would serve as both a medium of exchange and a store of value, offering a better offering better payment prospects in retail transactions when compared to cash payments. They added that the Enara had an exclusive operational structure uh, that was both remarkable and not like other forms of central bank money. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Otto Bani Adibai, has asked local government chairmen to create an investment-friendly environment to reduce the over-reliance on revenue from, from the Federation account. He said this in his address delivered at the opening of the Association of Local Governments of Nigeria Exhibition and Trade Fair on Monday in Abuja. The Argonne Exhibition and Trade Fair was held as part of the activities lined up to commemorate Nigeria's 60 Diamond Jubilee celebration. The Lagos State Ministry of Justice has resolved to address land grabbing in the state as property transactions are now being greatly hindered by the activities of the Omonile and Ajagumbales. A statement on Sunday uh, said the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Mr. Moshore Onibanju, uh, who was represented by the Director of Justice, by the Director's Office of the Public Defender, Dr. Babajite Martin, stated this at a stakeholders meeting held to sensitize residents of Ekbe and Ibeju communities on the nefarious activities of land grabbers and the state property protection law. Onibanju stated that the rising cases of land grabbing were an issue of great concern to the state government. This is the media news. Do join me on the Afternoon Business Show. And as more breaking news stories with me in the studio, I'll be sure to let you know. My name is Regina Agada. Good afternoon. <laughs>